Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Summer. I'm doing some vlog action today. I'm very excited. I'm getting extensions put in. I'm a little nervous because I ordered the hair at the last minute and the colors are a little bit different than what they look like on the swatches. So I wasn't sure if they were matching up with my hair perfectly. So last night I tweaked my color just a little bit to try to hopefully get it to blend better. So we'll see if it works. I haven't worn extensions in forever for length. I used to back in the day wear my hair really long with them. So it's been a while, so I'm very excited. So let's head on into the salon to get started. So the type of extensions I do are tape and extensions. They've just always worked for my hair type personally. The company I use is Hair Talk. I like them because they have three different sizing options. So they have the original tape tad, the petite tape tad, and the mini. So you can really customize them for whatever your hair type is or your head shape. I personally like using the petite and minis on myself. They just work the best. So. I like the hair quality that they give too. The price is a nice price point. So that's what I've been using now for the last probably two years. Okay, so we're about to start the process. I'm gonna sit down and get to be a client for once. To prep my hair, all I did after I colored it last night, I just gave it a nice blow dry. I didn't put any products in it, no conditioner. You don't want anything on your scalp. Just so the adhesive really sticks well to your scalp. There's nothing as far as product buildup on there. And also, I'm gonna go get in the chair, get draped and get this hair going. So the goal is to probably only add an inch in my back and then add a little bit more length in the front. I don't want it to be like super heavy and thick. So we'll see where it gets us and hopefully the color blends because I'm still a little nervous about that. With the extensions, we're just doing a mix of all three different shades of colors I had and I wanted her to just put them in however she felt they would blend the best with my own hair. We came to realize I actually messed up with the amount I ordered, so we decided to focus placing them more in the sides and front before focusing on the back, deciding that an angled lob look would work best with what we had. Okay, so we're up in my little hole area. Gonna fill that in. We're like halfway through, would you say? I'm putting them in my yeah. hair. So we have most of the front done and then we'll finish the back and then get to cutting to blend them all in and see where I'm at with length. I don't know, but I'm loving it. They're not gonna stay this long, but I'm very excited. In this section, trying to fill in my hole, we use mostly all of the mini strand tabs just because they are not as wide and I'm able to hide them better in my hair because we do have to put them up fairly close to my part line to blend them in. And overall, I have very little hair in this area, so it's just the best option for me. All right, the hair is in, and now it's time to cut to see how much length we can leave while keeping everything looking nice. When cutting extensions, a razor is often the preferred choice over standard shears as it softens the ends more, making for less texturizing altogether to blend them in the best. Okay, so we've got them in and cut for now, so I'm gonna dry it and then she's gonna go back in and kind of blend in any areas that it needs to, but I've left about like two inches in the front and the back, we've just blended it in, so it's a little bit of an angle because I messed up ordering uh, my hair. I didn't order the right tape tab, so we didn't have enough to do the back as much. It's the story of my life, but I am excited and it already looks longer in the front. Now comes the fun part, drying. Gosh, I forgot how heavy they feel at first. I'm not used to this much hair. Okay, so I just finished blow drying. We've got the added length in the front. I am gonna have her texturize it a little bit. It's a little too bulky, but my color is blending so well. Very happy with that. And then of course, on top of me not ordering the right tape tabs, I found a whole other bag of hair. So we could have added more in the back, but it's fine. That's just how my Monday is going. But yeah, I'm excited and I'll show you guys the final look here in just a little bit. Now that I have it styled, she's really just gonna go through the hair to blend in anything that might be sticking out or not laying right and eventually texturizing a little bit more where it's needed. Okay, so this is my final result with the extensions. I am loving it. We've got a little extra length here in the front. The color blends in amazing. I was actually so worried about that, but I think it looks amazing. And 
I'm actually glad that we didn't even add as many pieces in the back for length. I like how it just kind of blends going towards the front with a little bit of an angle. So I'm gonna head home now and I'm gonna show you guys how I like prep my hair for nighttime to sleep because you don't wanna like leave it down and all wild and stuff. So I will show you guys how I do that and I think tomorrow I'm gonna curl it. So I'm really excited to see how it looks with it curled as well, but I am so loving it. So I'm ready for bed now. I've taken a shower, put on my face creams. So for bed, I typically like to sleep with my hair up on top of my head, but that does put a lot of pressure on the sides as far as like tension and breakage goes. So I am gonna opt to sleep with my hair down. However, with extensions, you can't just like leave it all out and loose. You just simply, I use a soft scrunchie and then I just pull it straight back into a low ponytail just to keep everything nice and tight so there's no fidgeting or anything at all. The extensions aren't getting much movement so that is why you wanna put it in a loose ponytail. So now that I've done that, I'm just gonna hop right into bed and get to sleep. Okay, so this is my morning after of sleeping. I have a little bit of a kink from um, my hair tie, but nothing crazy. I'm actually gonna curl my hair using the T31. This is from their Twirl Trio. It's their one and a half inch barrel. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that and then I'll show you what it looks like curled afterwards. I'm very excited to curl it. Okay, so this is curled and it's styled so that way you guys can see it from all angles. I fluff it out. I usually use like a paste and an oil mixed together. Today I'm gonna be using an IGK paste and Moroccan oil mixed together and I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay, so that has been my experience with putting tape and extensions back in. We had four different colors all together, so lots of dimension in there, lots of movement. I use hair talk extensions, they're petite and mini tabs, and then I did a mix of single-sided and um, sandwich, if you're familiar with that. But I'm absolutely loving it. I love it curls, I love it straight. It's nice to have a little bit of length. This is long for me, so. I'm excited to hopefully maybe do some like fun styling videos. We'll see now that I have more hair to play with, but thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.